hello guys ademola badmos here so before we get into pushing the code like we did the other time um in the previous uh, cypress videos i would uh, quickly like to do an extension of uh, the cypress.environment.json file please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell because i'll be making more videos concerning um, cypress 10 so in order to extend the cypress.environment.json file you know we have um, different types of users we have four types of users in particular so what i want to do is uh, remove all these type of users and put them in the cypress and environment of json file so let me show you one way i would want to do that i would just copy this out and then go into the cypress dot uh, environment .json file so instead of add just one user here i can have a, a, um, a collection of users let me call that users right and um, instead of having this here this then to come up but it won't run itself on like the old version that would, it will run itself so when do when i have this here i can remove this and then create a dictionary where i will paste everything let me format the document so it looks all nice yeah so all the users are here so we can uh, pick our users from the environment.json file so how do we now then uh, how do we reference this in our code so we'll just still use the same thing probably name it maybe users this time around and we'll call the environment users so what that means it is calling all the values here so we will just need to start referencing the values where they are applicable so at this point we don't need the fixture folder anymore because we are not calling anything from the fixture folder so we can remove the fixture um, syntax that is referencing the fixture folder so what we are trying to achieve here as you can see we are writing lesser lines of code and our code looks smaller and sort of neater than the other time the other time when we have them um, dot fixture so we have less things here so let's format the document again is i like to just keep a format for the document so it looks neat good so now that we've done this so how do we get the users to be taken here since we've already called all the users here we've brought the dictionary into the code what we just need to do is just call the value of the dictionary so we call users so in this case we'll use the user with the value standard right so let's test this oh if we try to go ahead the rest will fail so i guess we'll just um copy this and put in the remaining and use it to substitute the remaining so we we'll put logged here and this one is the problem user problem user and the last part is the performance glitch user which will be called um, glitch so let's see if this will still run on our code let's try again <coughs> um this done let's run it and see as you can see it's still logging us in everything still works fine so that's one way to extend your cypress.environment.json file so please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell thank you for watching see you in the next class